Welcome back fishing friends. All right. So today we're gonna do an unboxing here. Got this from Tackle Warehouse. Uh, let me use my little Condor Mini, little bushcraft knife. We're gonna get this open. Hopefully you guys can see, I got this hat cam on. I have a pretty good idea what it is. It's not very much stuff, but it's another Whopper Plopper 75 in the perch color. And then this one is a new one. I, I, I got to try it. It's the bluegill color of a Whopper Plopper 60. So we got to check that out. See, then just like the purchase information. Let me get that out of the way. All right, let's get this open. All right, check that out. Just like a regular Whopper Plopper, just in the size 60. Hooks look good, it's nice and sharp. And this is the bluegill color. All right, so that looks pretty neat. Let me get this out of here. And of course with these, I always get the original Whopper Ploppers. I don't get the, the other companies, the competition, the knockoffs. You know, these guys get the credit for coming up with this. So I always get the originals. All right. Let's get this guy out. All right, check it out. This one I've had so much success with in the bigger sizes too. So there we have it. Ooh, careful, don't wanna get hooked. The 60 and the 75. Let me put this back in here. <clears throat> All right, so here's the tackle box. Got a bunch of Bitsy Bug jigs, some Kalen. These are just some extra jigs in here. But um, then I have some little crankbaits. Uh, So I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Flicker shads, but here I got some other Whopper ploppers down in here. Hopefully you guys can see them. Of course, as you know, everything gets always tangled up. I'm sure there's ways to get everything straightened up so they don't get tangled, but I hadn't really uh, figured that out yet. <laughs> I just put them all in here and however they get, they get. So I think this one's a 90 in the Loon. And then of course I got the 110s. In the Bone. So I've cut some pike on this before and some bass. Here's the other one. So I gotta tell you, um, Perch is probably my favorite color, but uh, right behind it is gonna be Bone. And then I've got that Smoke Shad one on the, tied on the reel, hooked on the reel, rod and reel, it's, Ready to go, but the perch, I really like that one. And we're gonna check out bluegill. This one seems like it's gonna be uh, a good one too. So, yeah, this little yellow propeller, I'm not sure about, but you know, we'll have to give it a shot and see. And then of course, loon. So, good stuff. You know, then I've got some uh, X wraps in here. I've got a Super Spook Junior. I like these guys. These come from Everett Lures. If you know anything about them, Everett Lures is up at a, in Maine. They do a lot of trout stuff, but uh, 
that's pretty much it. So I'm real excited that I got those in. I'll have to get them, get them out and test them uh, soon. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I may merge this little unboxing with the fishing bid. So we'll see how that is. But uh, fall fishing, you can't beat it. It's a good time to get out there. So uh, hopefully if you can, get out there and do it. Hey, and if you never really taken a look at bushcraft knives, go for it. There's a huge market for them, all kinds of them. Uh, even Victorinox, the Swiss Army people put out some good ones lately. Like I was saying the other day, the Ranger Grip 78, I love that one. Uh, the KPS stuff from uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters, Dave Canterbury's, I've got that in the other room. Uh, you know, great all-around tools, especially if you're into camping or even for me, tinkering with fishing line and things like that. It's always nice to have a good blade with you. But... Um, all right, so that's going to be it. Until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. All right, welcome back, fishing friends. I'm at this little pond over here. And I'm going to throw this little Whopper Plopper 60 just to see what we got working in here. All right, let me get rigged up, and uh, then we'll get started. Water's way low here, but I've seen some bass floating around back and forth a bit. But let's see what we can get. Man, this thing sounds and looks juicy in the water. Good stuff. For this rig, I'm using like a five foot ugly stick with a little speed spin, uh, what is this, 100 from Luz. It's like ultra light setup. Had one hit, but it didn't take it. Could have been a bluegill. All right, guys, I moved down just a little bit. You can see in some spots, it's just real shallow. But there's some holes. It's good for top water.
had a hit. But it didn't take it. What was up with that? She's hung up. Sometimes it'll do that with the ploppers. There we go. Dang. I hope she didn't feel the hook. That's twice today I've had hits and nothing to show for it. I wonder if those are bluegill. But I've seen some pretty good sized bass and there goes a big turtle. Hmm. See him down there? Two hits and nothing to show for it. Crying out loud. Is that racket? Somebody's dump truck on the loose. Had to short arm that one. I almost threw it right into the grass over there. Alright guys, got one on the Whopper Plopper 60. Let's check it out. Ooh! He threw it right here at the bank. Oh man. Alright, let's get back in there. Alright guys, finally the sun's coming out. It's still a little bit windy. But uh Okay, so I caught my first one. I didn't get to get him up on the bank. He flopped off right at the bank, but I'm still counting it. So this Whopper Plopper 60, and it just, it, it's perfect for creeks, small bodies of water, maybe a pond, flows really well. I'm using an ultralight setup, like I was saying. And, uh, you know, it works really well. The only thing I'm not thrilled about is that color I'm using the the bluegill color that yellow paddle mm. but I guess it didn't make much of a difference you know I've had some hits today all right let's keep fishing see what we can get
wouldn't stay on there. What is it with this today? Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Hey, give the Whopper Plopper 60 a shot. Tackle Warehouse is where I got mine. They're not very expensive. It's a good lure. Uh, you know, I had some hits on it today. I had a couple, you know, take it for a good fight. I had lost that one at the bank. The other one I lost about 10 feet out. But uh, give it a shot, you know. Uh, it's worth getting. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.